Um, certain examples, uh, I, I, I guess so, but then also I, uh, I think our faith is within ourselves. Uh, mm. points so what we decide that we believe in is that what that's what gives us power it's mm. why i think you find miracles in most uh religions mm. and like different beliefs because you get uh you get people who put their own energy mm. and their own faith into what they believe in and um of course sometimes different yeah. beliefs pull out more uh but then that, i guess it's also personal like how much they believe in themselves mm. it's like if you believe in yourself good mm. and it's the energy you give out that comes back mm. it's all reflective yeah I've, um, I've read a couple like religious texts yeah um, I, I've, I've I had an interest when I was younger into Buddhist uh, mm -hmm. Buddhist texts um, they always just kind of seemed interesting to me yeah uh, and then of course I, I was grown up quite around more like Christian um, but a lot of my friends uh, are Muslim and uh, it's, it's always interesting to have conversations where it's uh, like differentiating our beliefs uh, but we're also friends, you know. 100% not. I think yeah. we should have the human trait and and we believe um, Allah, Allah tells us in the Quran that um, in chapter uh, 49 verse 30, Allah address all mankind and Allah said, I have created from Adam and Eve and makes tribes and nations so that you may know one another, right? Yeah. So basically, we should have that general good trait amongst us. I mean, no religious community actually deny that the general goodness. But when we talk about the, the real life, the truth and salvation and the existential question, then we have to be more critique because those claim involves with reward and punishment, right. especially in Islam. In Islam, we have a concept of heaven and hell. Yes. But then again, first premise is, do you believe in a God? And then Islamic concept of God is very simple. And I would say, that if any person is rational and reasonable, he would not deny that. Because what we say, we say the creator is unlike the creation. I, I, have you looked into the concept of God? Yes, yeah, I have. I've yeah? thought about it quite a, about quite a lot yes. uh, in, in my time uh, being here. Uh, what point do you find not making sense if you looked into it? I believe that if there is a God, mm -hmm. Uh, it's beyond our understanding of what we think mm -hmm. as a creator. Yes. And they wouldn't particularly have an interest in what we do. Similar to how, um, say, a builder makes a house, they don't then come back to the house 10 years later and look at the house and go, oh, I built this. They might pass it and have a little glance, mm -hmm. and that's when we get, that's when we see. Yeah, miracles. I wouldn't say this is a good analogy anyway, but yeah, yeah. I, I would say. The, if you look into in this world, everything you see there is a purpose. Everything you define is a purpose. Even that house you mentioned, it is to protect someone. So similarly, when we find out there is a creator, then the creator would not create something aimlessly. That is a purpose. So therefore we say, first of all, do you agree that Creator is one? Um, but, and then they could be, but then I I, I don't like that. That's where my, my mm. belief is is, is uh, life isn't always about the answer. Mm. Sometimes we are left with mysteries, and um, I've come to terms with that. Mm. I think it's, I've 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 become comfortable with the unknown in certain points mm. and. If it comes to when my life ends and I move into the next phase of whatever this is and there is something else, then I will welcome it with open arms. Um, but my, my whole goal in life now is to basically just live mm. and... Uh, no, I think we all wish to be, we will all wish to be live in a happy, harmonious life. Mm -hmm. But defining our own purpose yes. is a contradiction. Do you know why? Um, I don't necessarily believe that we have a purpose. No, I'll tell you why it's a contradiction. I'll tell you why. Because okay. we didn't choose to be come to this universe. It was made by a choice of an external being, mm. which you know, if we look at ourselves, we cannot create ourselves, neither we create from nothingness. Right, yeah. Now you can say, I come from my parents, yes. but they are the median, they are not your creator. Yes. 
So there is a difference between median and a creator. Just like, you know, when, when you see a building and you say, uh, someone say, I create the building. That's not right. He assembled the building, not the creator. Put the bricks there. The but brick there. The, all of the raw material yeah. was given. So then there was an architect. Architect. So, so what we are saying is, when we come into existence, yes. by default, it should be an external from the creation, right. which is, we, let's say for argument's sake, say a being. Okay. Yeah. That being must possess that, whatever you are saying, architect. Yes. And in Islamic language, we call it musawir. Musawir means someone who's designed. And Allah said, That he, the, the, the creator is telling, that he shape you in the wombs of mother how he wills. Right. Now, a creator which is the external being, that being must possess that ability to design, will, power. Yeah. As a rational human being, we have not concluded this is God. Right. Now, and then, that being must possess the attribute of power because you see the creation it has strong and weak forces gravity is strong and we can see that the universe in one point non-existent yes. and it re required a huge power to bring everything into existence so if we rationalize see what are the things needed to create this universe and create all of us then we will certainly conclude that attributes right now if you look at those attributes and look into the religion and say, okay, I rationally conclude that is the truth. Now, is there any religion agree with these ideas? If the religion agree with these ideas, that means your intellectual faculties also supported by that religion. Then, additionally, if that same religion give you compelling evidence that the the book the creator revealed as a guide for you and then supported by the messenger which is shown you know supernatural activities we call it miracle you have seen your own naked eye then and then if they comes and make the claim that there is a purpose in life and Allah created you with your purpose then in that instant rejecting that strongest compelling proof is a very, very risky option. I could understand that, but then... So we, we take step one step at a time. Yes. I think that will help me and you maybe. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm happy to differ with you. I don't say you don't necessarily agree with me, yeah. but if we follow the step. So I am following your architect yeah. and the design and I say the creator of the heavens and the earth, of being, whatever you call it, this is all powerful, which Allah, the creator, we believe. So all those attributed, you can tick with Allah. But you cannot apply to any other religion. And I can give you, demonstrate that. I, uh, what do you mean? So for example, yeah. So, yeah. So the concept of Islam, that Allah is all powerful. Okay. All knowing, all hearing, all seeing. These are the attribute, and that are the attribute needed to create this universe. Right, yeah. And that attributes actually make sense if you look at the creation of the universe. Now, if you look at Christianity, for example, Abrahamic faith, you will find the concept of God in triuni, tri, Trinity. Yeah, the God, the Son, God, the Son and Holy Spirit. Yes. And they were co-equal and co-eternal. Right. But in one point, the Father is always powerful always all-knowing, always all-powerful. The sun suddenly become all-powerful, suddenly become all-weak. Yes. So that sun can't be a god because he lost the power of attributes of all-powerful, right? Yes. Yeah. So therefore, you can happily eliminate the idea because it has a rational flaw in the concept. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you agree? I understand, yeah. So, and now, if you look at any other religion, they all are either in some degree of polytheism. Islam is the only true monotheism, which in an essence exactly goes with your primordial ideas or cognitive base. Without people think, oh, religious people are so dumb, they're believing all those supernatural. But 
But if you really evaluate that, you will find the religion have the strongest proof and evidence and it goes in line with our cognitive state or the innate disposition which we build. Like imagine you born in Africa. You born in, let's say, in a Hindu family. You, you would be a Hindu by now. Do you know why? Because your culture, your food, your tradition, your parents, it had influenced. Yeah, exactly. And then if you are born in Egypt, you'll most likely be a Muslim, right? And let's say if you are in China, you'd be a Buddhist, right? Now, these are the state because of external influences. But as a human being, we believe in Islam tells that every children born as a believer means the children knows when he was born, he knows there is an external being who created him. And it is their children, sorry, it's their family, external forces, the society, they change their way from that innate way. The innate way is believing one God, which you have that, but you actually cannot figure out who I, is that actually. I, yeah, so like I, I say I'm agnostic. Um, but now, so from your position, you're not agnostic anymore. I, I, I'd say, well, my, my idea of it always is that we're not, I'm not sure. No, what I'm like saying, this, yeah, yeah. what I'm saying. So, I, so you're, you're telling me that... You're not agnostic, I'll tell you why. Within me, yeah. I have the belief that there is one God. No, you have that idea of compound, the nature we have, demo, I have demonstrated, yes, yeah. that, that external, you rationally agreed that these are the tools or these are the attributes must need it to, to create, uh, to, to the existence of this universe. Now what I'm saying is, what you are labeling as a being, I am saying this is Allah because no other gods fit into that definition. So falsifically, you don't follow it, but if you eliminate the idea, then you reach default position that is the being. Now if you find that this is Allah, then as, as a matter of my choice, I shouldn't reject because we, we make decisions based on our rational yes. choices, right? Yeah. Rational, like, you know, uh, right and wrong, right and wrong. Moral compasses. No, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that we believe those moral compasses come from God, <laughs> right? Because how do you know what is good and bad? Uh, I, I think uh, you can make your own assumptions. No, I mean, I mean, there are some general goodness within human being. How do I? Uh, well, I, I, it's also. Um, but there are some guidelines we need. Right. There are some general guidance. You would say, okay, be kind and nice. This, you know, God created the human being mm -hmm. was created. God given some intuition right. to become good, become well, nice, it's right? A, it's the general empathy. General empathy, empathy you know. Have. It is but all human have in, in yes. certain degree. I, I, but I, I see, I wouldn't necessarily say, I think that's a, it's a human nature, but then some people lack that. Yeah, so but what we say is, yeah. what we say, I think it's a bigger topic, but let's go back to the topic one, okay. where we talking about that being, I am labeling as a creator, okay. we call it Allah. Yes, yeah. And then Allah define himself, that being is defined. Stop me where it doesn't make sense, because I'm doing a falsification with you. and. If you agree, you can take it. If you disagree, you can leave. No problem. Tell me, okay, this guy is talking rubbish. I can go now. I, I don't think you're talking rubbish. I, exactly. I, you're yeah. talking what you believe in, and I'm no, here to listen. No. I, also, I wanted you to engage yes. if if that doesn't make sense. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then I would love to hear you. I think um, when you, like there is probably um, see, you I know I, I would like yeah. to see what is that troubling you to see how I'm seeing because if I'm logical. Yes, yes. If I'm illogical, you could show me no. You're saying the building blocks that we see as our universe is, is what you see as is Allah. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm building. I'm looking at everything, everything in the universe. Is I can define in one word. It's called creation. Right. Yeah. So that creation, if you look at everything in the creation, yes. is temporal. Right. Means at a certain point it came into existence. Yes. Yeah. So therefore, everything is so finite. Before? There we go. So what was before? Right. So what we are saying is, if we apply three principles here, can nothingness produce this creation? Um, maybe. 
you know, like... Um, no, that is, you know, maybe. First, we have to understand what is nothingness. Uh, we can't comprehend that. No, nothingness is... Yes. No, nothingness, if you look at in the even in the dictionary, it means absence of everything. Yes. Okay, so even if you go mathematically, rationally, logically, zero plus zero never gives you one. So nothingness cannot produce something. So we can eliminate that idea. And self-creation would be contradictory. Do you know why? Because the creation come into existence and we know it's temporal. So therefore, it also goes out of the way. Then the default choice, if someone say, I don't want to, now I know there is something there to bring everything into existence. So the idea is either you say, I don't want to follow that. Right. Or, if you are rational, you say, there is something, but how do I know this is God? Why do you label that being as a God? I, that would uh, be a, a, a nice right. question, right? Yeah. And then if you look at the creation, and if you look at all these things in the universe, you can see that being must possess the attribute of power, knowledge, and you know, you talked about architect, which is the design. Yes. And the creator himself in the book, telling us one of his attributes is he's a designer, the fashioner. Yes. And in, in fact, the whole Quran goes back and addressing, don't you see the design in the horizon and within yourself? Yes. Allah said, <laughs> means, I have shown you sign in the horizon and within yourself until it manifests to clear to you or until it's clear to you. So, going back to the point of yeah. falsification I am telling the Islamic concept of God has falsifically whatever in your mind agreed with that definition of God I, um... because that the being right. we worship yes. we don't worship man right. do you know why majority people is, become agnostic do you know so, why so can I ask you yes yeah. so is 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 uh, Allah is it a being or is that a like a just like a term for everything. Okay, so this is, this is, so this is like where we're, brilliant do, because we are we, going to do there. We see that, do, do we see that as a, a like a being that is cognitive and thinking and understanding yes. and capable of uh, like actions, emotions, uh, and then so does that mean they make so cabinets? you know you have love. Yes. Do you have love? Yeah, of course. Where does that love come from? It comes from my family, my friends, uh, the sunsets. Of course, yeah, yeah. 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 So these are the attribute given to the creation. Mm -hmm. So if the creation cannot be their own creator, then the creator is giving that. Yes. So the creator is not just make you physically, so he also given you that unseen thing called love. Right. And the creator also define him just like um, you know, the design you mentioned, yes, yeah. he also mentioned one of his name is called Al-Wadud. Al-Wadud means the all-loving. Right. Means that all-loving has bestowed a tiny fraction of love to entire creation. To so that's why you are showing love to your parents and family, yep. friends and everyone. Yep. So if the creator must have that love, yes. otherwise where do you get, get that love? Yes. Yep. Do, do, making yep. sense rationally. Now look at this is the chapter where God is defining himself in this is called Surah, surah Al-Ikhlas. Surah means chapter okay. and Al-Ikhlas means sincerity. Sincerity and then Allah is saying, say, he is Allah who is one. 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 No three in one. Absolute. absolute. One yes. and absolute. And then Allah the eternal refuge means that means something all the creation depend on that being and that being is independent of any sustenance, any food, drink and uh, things like that. Okay. It also means that if that being stop that sustenance, we will not survive. Just water, oxygen, if that being. But the same being does not need that. Mm -hmm. Right, so they, they, they don't need to sustain themselves. Right. Because they, they are, they are all self-sustaining. Eternal. Eternal, self-sustaining. Yeah, exactly. So they, 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 now there, there is no need for right. uh, survival like we do. Correct. And then it goes, he neither begets nor born. This is actually a reputation. Right. Now imagine if I tell you, why did you steal the, uh, the stuff from the predator manager? But you know you didn't do that. Mm. What would you do? You just say, announce it. 
I didn't do that. So Allah, He is refuting a group of religious people. They are attributing God as a son, God as a father. So the making the creator into creation. So that Allah, the He is saying, I don't beget, neither I have a father. I don't have a son, neither I have a father. Simple. Because it's unlike creation. All powerful, all... Why does He need? We need children because we will be perish one day. The Creator is always there. Why does He need even a, a representative? Do you see? And then Allah saying, Nor is there to Him any equivalent. Means, in order to find anything equivalent, you have to look into the creation. And Allah is saying, there is nothing like to him means nothing yeah. comparable to him yeah. okay. Makes sense. like I said yes. look this is not a self-imposed idea to you anybody this is an intellectual being has been presented that idea okay. if you think that is there are a better way or is there any mistake rationally Allah is constantly asking in this book challenging you me yes. prove me give yeah. me the better idea why because that creator also revealing this book the same way now right. think about that way mm -hmm. you have endowed with reason yes. now if that being given you a religion doesn't make sense okay. your reasoning automatically identify it right. detect it reason mm -hmm. now now the same person mm -hmm. the same religion the same idea if it is aligned with whatever your yes. innate being yeah. then you know it is from the same source and then you have this external source of Prophet Muhammad. Yes. He came as a messenger. Yes. Jesus came as a messenger. Multiple prophets. Yeah. I, I, I know like a little bit. Not no, enough, now the yes. most important. Now, a, 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 as a humble human being, yes. does the concept make sense? I, yeah, I can, I can understand uh, the point. I think my, my point of view of it all is um, I, I'm just not sure. You know, like I don't, no, I that don't. is called, we call it Yaqeen. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Certainty. Right. There are one thing I am intellectually convinced, another thing is called, I need to get a sign. Faith. I need to get a faith, yes. right? But the, if you have a faith which is not supported by reason, mm -hmm. that faith can go anytime soon. Yes. But if the faith is built on convincing, convincing reason, yes. that even if you lose the faith, you will come back again because your reason is strong. An unconditional faith. Unconditional. Faith need... Yeah, no, faith is supported yes. by reason and faith is not supported by reason. Yes. Because some people have got faith but they're not rational. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. if you say a Christian brother in, I would say I really love him as a brother in humanity. Mm -hmm. And I love I respect he has strong faith in his God. Mm -hmm. But is it rational? It's not. Right. Do you see? But I can happily disregard him, but I have respect for him. Because Quran said, you know, all of all of the human beings are the creation of God. Yeah. So show your love and um, support. Yeah. yeah. These I are the general rules. If, if I wasn't kind to my neighbors. Yes, absolutely. So in, in you know, you'll be surprised to know, Islam defines that um, you should your worship will not be accepted if your neighbor sleeps hungry and you eat full. Yeah. Yeah. And it's defined that. 40 houses from your right, left, from right, left, and all direction, 40 houses considered as neighbor. Going back to the point. So. I do need to shoot off soon. Yeah, I have but soon, so. I have demonstrated to you the concept yeah. of oneness. Yeah. What would you do? Um, you've definitely given me. Um, more interest mm. in the topic yes. and I'd be happy to read yes. uh, some literature if you have some for me. I have these things for you. These? Both? Are you sure? 100%. Yes. This talks about the life after death and the Quran, this is a translation. Yes. That, so just give you a, a basic background. Yep. Quran is the only book in the face of death yep. in Arabic original form has been memorized not, by million. Not translated? No. Nothing like that. Yeah. Like this is translated but original yeah, Open these is our is. attempt to the meaning in yeah. the best ability because yeah, although, you know, translation doesn't do a good job, but no, it, it will contain good information. Good, but it, it has enough that you can pass it on yes. and then encourage. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And the Quran, the only book face of that, that shows another thing. That whoever the creator, the Allah, that he didn't 
leave you in confusion. Because it's your own right, your creator should give you a direction. If you go to your office, you want, your right is that your manager should direct you. Right. It's your right. And then you have to do your performance. Mm -hmm. Same way, the creator of the heavens and the earth shown you direction, that is his right. Now, if you obey, Allah is saying you will have after death life, you yes. will have one destination. If you disobey, reject, do criminal activities, surely there are suffering also. So the Islam is very practical and you, you will find Allah talks about punishment. So those punishment is not to punish people, is setting up standards so that you don't go that way. Islam is a pragmatic, is a practical religion. It goes with the prevention policy. So you see where Muslims, you know, following strictly their religion. Why? Why? Because it's command of God. And the faith is so strong. Why? Because it's so rational that you can't defend, deny it. And then it's supported by the Quran. And Prophet Muhammad is a, 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 a messenger which is historically, he was, even the historian said, this is one of the prophet was they can trace back. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So, and, and then he, his message was supported by his miracle. He made prophecy which came into truth. There's multiple prophecy he said. And one of the prophecy in chapter 5, verse 67. Let me show you just quickly, yeah. Uh, I do have a, a couple questions yeah. as well before, before I shut yeah. off. Um, yeah. Is there any way that I need to like take care? Of the book itself. Yeah, you know, just keep it in your yeah. book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't, I don't want to like. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, messenger. So Quran is addressing to Muhammad peace be upon him. Announce that which has been revealed to you from your Lord, and if you do not, then you have not conveyed His message. So Allah is talking to him, right? Yes. And Allah will protect you from the people. Indeed, Allah does not guide. The disbelieving people so allah protect you from the people means yeah. if prophet muhammad die yeah. Yeah. die without finishing his mission mm. then the quran is false Why? Okay. because allah is saying i will protect you yes. and this is one of the chapter revealed in earlier yeah. and he was living in the nomadic life mm. in 14 1500 years ago there is very easy to kill people at that time mm. Yeah. They don't have much dangerous. security, dangerous time. And not just from other people, but yeah. from... Food. Any tribal fight yes. going on, you know, even they, they have, um, you know, killing regularly, you know. So it, it was easy to kill someone. But after this, 23 years of, you know, he lived, he completed his mission. Many times he attempted uh, to, be, to be killed, but every time, there are multiple occasions he has been attempted to be killed, but every time they make a plot, Allah revealed through angel, given him that information. Why? Because he made the promise he will protect him. But you know, in, in case of other prophets before, like John the Baptist, Zachariah, they were killed. They are killed by the children of Israel. So here, Allah is saying, I will protect you. The final word. Final word. So, uh, yeah. and they knew if yes. we can kill him, that means we can prove the Quran is wrong. Can you imagine? Yes, yeah. But, but Allah showed it. Look, that is the religion for you. And look at the prophecy. This is the one of the biggest prophecy, you know. And there are multiple prophecies. And all of them. Like, imagine, what's your name? Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Now, Daniel, summarize it. Summarize the point. The Prophet Muhammad was known to be uh, the most truthful person in the history, mm -hmm. most trustworthy person in the history. And then he is supported by the physical miracle, mm -hmm. means, you know how Moses parted the sea? Yes. You didn't see, I didn't see that. Yes. So it's a belief for us. Yes. So all those prophets and messengers given physical miracle, means the, cur the current community can witness it. But the later generation, it is a belief for them. Prophet Muhammad performed a lot of physical miracles and there are other miracles which is the Quran. Quran is on only book on the face of that is preserved. It has got so many numerical miracles, mathematical miracles, you know, 
you can't finish. There's so many features in there, and you know we can spend <laughs> next few hours explaining <laughs> yeah, yeah. that. But the question is, yes. once you know this book is from God, yeah. and you know rationally Allah exists, and you know that the life has a purpose, and you know the Prophet Muhammad made a huge claim and his claim was supported by the other messenger like Abraham, Adam, all of them are prophets and messengers yes. and they were sent for one mission letting people know that you should worship God alone and don't give the share of worship to anybody else yes. that's why it is important to find out who the creator is so that we can keep our worship in correct direction that, on that note my brother if you have any question, you are most welcome here. We are here every Friday, Saturday. Thank you for talking to me. But I hope you know you take this message yeah, very seriously. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I, I, will, I will take it. I will but take you it ask a, a, a question to the right people. Yeah. There are a lot of polemical website out there. Yes. But it's better to learn Islam from the Islamic sources. Yeah, of course. I, I, uh, the internet is full of lies. Uh, so talking to actual people it is yeah nice absolutely get. and you can go to the uh, local mosque when you could yes, yes. meet with imams these are knowledgeable people right and uh, you can also come here to uh, you know speak to the brothers you know get clarified why Islam is rising this is a big question isn't it why this um, basically uh, last week uh, I was um, in Cambridge okay. and one of the guy from Cambridge University mm. was researching Islam for a very long time right, and he taken the uh, he became Muslim so my question is how on an earth a white man living everything and coming back to Islam yes. is he doing for fun or is he convinced man? then when you know that they are convinced with Islamic information supporting the claims and too much compelling evidence to reject and the message is yes. the, the ending message with reward and threat then we have to take it seriously. Yes. But anyway, on that note, look much. after yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good evening. Bye-bye.